Hey guys, um, so today you might have clicked on this video because you've heard the word or the acronym ALU and you don't quite understand what that is. Well, uh, I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you how you, th the basics of how to implement it. Uh, so the first thing is, what does ALU mean? So ALU is arithmetic logic unit. I uh, don't know what that means. So basically it can do math and it can also do logical operations like XOR, AND, NAND, uh, whatever you want. Any type of logic game. Um, so uh, is able to do bitwise logic. Um, also uh, some parts are optional like a multiply and divide. That's, that's more of an optional thing if you really want to. Um, add and subtract are definitely a must because you can't do multiply without add and you can't do subtract without or you can't do um, divide without subtract so those these are uh, optional um, now you want to be able to use certain logic gates on each bit depending on what you want usually what you want to do is you want to have the and the not the or and the XOR uh, the rest of them can be inverted so you could send it back through a knot um, so on and so forth so another thing we want to be able to use is to control when those gates are used and whenever the adder is being used because we don't want the, the outputs of those gates going out while the adder is being in operation so um, what we can do here is we can have so say we want to call in a function like a um, say we want to add or something then we would send it through this we would send uh, the function that we want to do we'd have all the functions going in through here through these and then whenever we want to use that function uh, say we want to add this number to whatever um, then we'd set it to I guess zero and then that would activate this one down here and then it would go through the OR gate. Um, if that doesn't make sense, I this picture might make a little more sense. So you have an A, you have a B output. So let's say your A is your adder and your B is your OR or something. Uh, so whenever you want to call on the adder, you usually have it set to zero and then you call on the adder um, it would let that output through and go out Z. Um, bitwise logic. Uh, another thing. This is this is kind of how it would be set up in an ALU. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, then go ahead and uh, hit the like button. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be pleased to answer those. Um, I, I make videos just about every day, so there shouldn't be a shortage of videos. If you have a request for a topic that I should explain, then please leave that in the comments as well. Um, and as always, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more like this. Uh, but I'll see you in the next video. Bye.